Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how to do a quick little mod on Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3, the new Steam release, uh, because lots of people have been asking about it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the character you want to mod. So you have to navigate to your um, Marvel vs Capcom 3 folder, which is in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, all the way to the bottom for me, Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3, Native PC, and then you've got all this stuff. You can probably work it out from here, but it's character archive and then you got all this. Now at the moment this isn't going to make any sense to you. So what you need is a list like this. There's lots of them around. There's one on the wiki on the Marvel Mod subreddit. I would recommend using that. This is just my personal one that I have. Uh, we're going to do a quick mod of Frank West which is number 9. And we're going to do... We're going to do his purple skin. There you go. So what you do is you get this, you get the arc file. This is 01, it's his second skin, because computers start counting from zero, so that's his base skin. That's his reskin. That's his um, DLC reskin, that is. Um, so we're going to use this one. going to copy it. We're going to take it to here, which is the Marvelous Capcom 3 Tools, uh, which was released by, I can't remember his name, SMB something or other, uh, which you should be able to find incredibly easily on the subreddit. What you do, you just put this in here and drag it over unpack. This unpacks all the files from it. Now, most of them you don't want to edit or even look at. Stuff like this, you can't do anything with it. If it, if it says no MIP, you cannot do anything with it for the time being. Um, I, I'll show you what they look like. Uh, lots of folders that we're currently looking through have these. And if you, not inject, if you check them, then all you get is this. And honestly, we can't do anything with that. You can kind of see what it is. It's Frank's head, his baseball bat, his camera, and his other side of his head. But obviously, we can't do anything with it. Because if we change it at all, it corrupts the whole game. So leave those, unless you want your game to screw up. And go back in here. Now, once again, you can change the zombie if you really want. Uh, there is a way to change the model of the zombie. I will not be showing that, because that's complicated shit. Uh, so you go to Frank. You got weapons, obviously. This is quite important for Frank. You got a lot of them. So if you ever want to change any of his weapon skins, they're down here and stuff. Uh, so then you go to model, 2P, and you've got all of Frank's files here. Now, I believe Frank text one is his face. So we'll have a quick look at that just to see if it is. So you drag on to text check. Yeah, that's his face there. So if you want to edit his face or his hair, that's where you need to go. So we don't, we don't want to edit that, and luckily we only copied it, we didn't drag it. So always copy it, just in case you need to delete the files. So you delete those. Go back to where you need to go, Frank, model, 2P. And then you're going to want the BM one. I don't know why, this seems to be the one that works, just take that one. So you get that, copy it, paste it, drag on to text check. There we go. So this is Frank's model, you could say. We're going to want to make it, um, we're going to make it a lighter pink, as well as... Um, a light trouser, that's what I want to do, a light trouser colour to make him more of a pimp, because Frank is an absolute pimp. That's all you want to do. Um, if it's more bolder, like a beautiful Joe skin, you can use this magic wand tool down here. I would recommend using paint.net and not um, GIMP, just because of personal preference, and I, it's a lot easier in my opinion. But obviously we can't do that, so we need to drag it over. This is You're going to need to learn both of those. This is the more complicated way, so that's why I'm showing you this. Then you go to Adjustments, Huge Slash Saturation, and we're just going to want to make it more pink, so you drag this along, and more saturated. There you go. Then you do, this, then you do the same on this other purple bit over here. Every part of Frank's files are on here. This is his camera, this is his teeth, this is his hands. I believe this is the camera strap, but it saves your it saves your last thing, so you just press it and do that. Now for these, it's going to be a bit harder, I reckon. So you're going to want to hard it up. Try not to get anything but what you want. So make sure you zoom in and do that. And then you go to adjustments. And of course, this time we can't. Oh, we can kind of change it. But you won't see any difference because it's just solid black. So you get this to back to zero, just in case. And you bring the saturation down. Just make it easy, and you bring the lightness up. Okay, now they're, now they're a lot lighter than they were before. That's what we kind of want. 
So now we've got this. Um, we're just going to want to save it. Save it as DTX1 if it has any alpha or transparent parts on the texture. DTX5. But we want DTX1. Uh, make sure you have generate mip maps clicked. It's a funny word, but it's very important. If you don't, your textures look dumb. So then you click OK. Saving. And now this is that, obviously, because you saved it. So what you do now is you get the text file. You put it over inject. This replaces the original file with the new one. So now you take that and put it back exactly where you found it, which is in model to be here. Just paste it. There you go. And then what you do is you get this file. It's quite important. Well, you, first of all, you want to make an originals folder like this. This is mine. I have a lot of stuff in it. And you take this, you drag it on top of originals. Okay, apparently I've already modified this one without realizing it. So, yeah, we'll just replace it because I'm not sure if that one's right. So then you take this, drag it on repack, and it regenerates it as another arc file. So you cop you have to rename this, take out the repacked for obvious reasons. There you go. Okay, copy, go here, paste. And then you replace the file. And now it's in the game. What do you do now? You load up, you know, your favourite game of all time, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and just wait for it to go through the loading screens. It might be a bit different to what you remember because I did a lot of stuff uh, editing. So just ignore that. It might take a bit of time to load up if you've got a slow computer or... Actually, that's only the problem, really. If you've got an SSD, it, um, it will load a lot faster. But that's basic computer stuff, and you don't really need to know it. Uh, so the game's loading up now. Capcom presents I'm just going to skip through this. Marvel Comics. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Just gonna do a quick check in training mode. Marvel vs. Uh, Capcom 3. Second to right. It didn't the crash chapter. there, that means the texture is probably worse. Uh, we're also gonna right go around the top. Demon Village Redux. Dare to believe you can survive. There we go. Much more purple Frank. Do I think it looks a lot nicer actually? I quite like that. Uh, I wouldn't use it in my, in my normal team, so you do play Frank. But it's not bad. That's not a bad skin. And of course, everything works for it. Yeah. Hyper combos. Uh, because it's only very basic and it's very similar to the last skin, the shaders are all pretty similar as well. So yeah. Very easy to do. Um, and all you really need is everything you can find on the wiki. So there you go. Thanks for watching.